Everybody wants to get rich trading options, and that's why most people fail. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a particular strategy that I've been using for years, and I've taught thousands of my students to do this. It's super simple and low risk, and it can make you upwards of 70% a year in returns. Yeah, it's not like making 300% return overnight, but this is something that's consistently used by the biggest and most successful traders to build wealth over time. And that's what I'm going to teach you guys in today's video. So start taking some notes. So let's get into this. And I'm going to break down this exact trade that I did today. I got out of this trade today with a $491 profit. And I initiated this trade just about 10 days ago. And I'm going to break down the math of how this small number can end up being a 70% return over time. So what I'm talking about is what's called a cash secured put. A cash secured put is an option strategy where you're interested in buying a particular stock, but you're not willing to pay the current market price. I'm going to show you guys this particular trade and I'll, I'll show you guys my top process, what the strategy is. And so this was March 4th is right here, March 4th. I wanted to buy Nvidia because it was going down quite a bit. I saw Nvidia and I wanted to buy this and it was trading at around $113 a share. I wasn't ready to buy it at 113. I wanted to buy it much, much cheaper. I wanted to buy it at a bigger discount. I wanted to buy it at $90 a share. And now you're going to ask, well, how do you get paid to buy a stock at $90 a share if it's nowhere close to that? This is where cash secured puts come in. So basically what a cash secured put is, it's making a promise to the market that's, hey, if NVIDIA by X date goes down to $90, I will buy 100 shares of NVIDIA. Each options contract controls 100 shares. I got into this because NVIDIA was going down. It was going into oversold territory, which meant that, you know, most likely it's going to bounce back up. And if it got to, if it got to $90 within the next month, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll buy a few hundred shares. So with this particular trade, I did the $90 put. I did three contracts. I wanted to pick up 300 shares of NVIDIA. And for each contract, I got paid $2.24 per share. And I'm going to break down the math in a second. So make sure you keep watching. And for that, they paid me up front. This amount was directly deposited into my account the day instantly when I placed the trade, as you can see from the transaction history in my account. Now, the thing is, I don't need to keep holding this position until the expiration date, which was I picked April 17th. And today's March 14th, right? When I got out of this trade. So you might be asking, well, how does this work if you're making a promise that if it doesn't go down by this price, by this date, you get to keep the money? Well, guess what? If NVIDIA goes up and the options start deteriorating, I can still get out. So that's what I did. I got out at 59 cents a share. I got in, I got paid $2.24 a share. So per contract, I got paid $224 for three contracts that ends up being $670. And I got out of it at 59 cents a share. So $59 a contract, which was $178. I still got to pocket the difference because from that date, from March 4th, NVIDIA went down and then it went back up a little bit. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to close this trade out because I've made most of the money that I'd be collecting anyway. Why am I going to wait another month to collect the rest of the hundred and whatever dollars left? So how do cash secured puts work? The main thing to understand with a cash secured put is that you need to be able to have capital to buy a hundred shares. So for each contract, because the strike price that I selected was $90, I would need $9,000 in capital to be able to sell one cash secured put. Now, most people that have that mentality that, hey, I want to get rich quick doing this stuff, and that's not a lot of money. This is where breaking down the numbers really, really helps. So think about it this way. $90 got paid $224. I did three contracts, $27,000, right? Let's bring out a calculator. Let's, let's do this together. So $90 times 100, which is because each contract controls 100 shares, $9,000 times three, that's $27,000 in capital. That's tied up because I'm making a promise, right? That, hey, if it dips down to $90 or below, I'm going to buy it at $90. So they will require me to have that much capital available to be able to purchase those shares that I'm making a promise on. I can't do this if I don't have that capital. Now, I collected $670 tying up $27,000. They're like, that's not a lot of money for $27,000 in capital required, especially with the profit that I took, which was only $491, right? So let's look into this. $491.91 is what my profit was. Divided by $27,000 times 100, so I can get a percentage, that's only a 1.82% return. 
right? You can say, oh my God, that's nothing. This is where it gets interesting. This was done over 10 days, right? I got into the trade on March 4th. I got out of the trade March 14th, 10 days. So if I divide this by 10, that's per day times 365 days. If I'm able to do this the entire year, that is a 66 point well, 66.5% return, okay? Now, here's the beauty. And this is something that's a bonus tip that not a lot of people know about. The cash that you have sitting there that you're tying up for this, for instance, in Schwab, I can I have this money parked in the SWVXX, which is their value advantage money fund, which is a dollar for dollar, doesn't go up, doesn't go down, but they pay you 4.16% a year in interest. So not only am I collecting premium and making money from those trades, I'm also collecting 4% interest on that money that's sitting there, which no bank is going to give me. So if I take that 66% and add that 4.16% to that, that's over a 70% annualized return on a trade like this. Now, the question that's going to come up is, well, how safe are these trades? How do I do this? What, you know, how do I execute a trade like this? Let me show you guys step by step how to do that as well while we're talking about this. So let's go back here. Let's go into NVIDIA, for example. And we're just using this as an example. Don't take this trade. It's only an example. Okay. Say, for instance, I wanted to do this with NVIDIA again. First thing I would do is put this into my brokerage account, click trade NVIDIA stocks. This is where everything comes up for the options. So when you're selling a cash secured put, the first thing you're going to do is click on put, sell, and select an expiration date. So right now it is March 14th. The markets are closed. Say I wanted to go out a month to April 17th, right? 34 days till expiration. NVIDIA right now is trading at $121.39 or 38 cents, right? Okay. I don't want to pay $121 right now. I want to pay a hundred dollars for Nvidia. When I do a put, I see the hundred dollar strike price. If I click here, so it's telling me that for each contract that I sell, I get one dollar and nineteen cents a share. So each contract controls a hundred shares. So that is a hundred and nineteen dollars. Right. So now there's a hundred and nineteen dollars. Nvidia could go up, down, sideways, wherever it is. If it is above a hundred dollars in the next month, I would get to keep the entire $119, but I can get out of this trade whenever I want. And at this price, I already know what my chance, chance of profit is. 86.94% of the time, NVIDIA will not hit 100. And this is telling me that I already have a very high percentage of probability that it's not going to get hit that, and I'm going to get to keep this money. Now, Let's go back to the part that's going to freak people out, which is the max loss right here, which is $9,881. Well, what, how, the way that's calculated is that it took the $100 strike price, right? You're promising to buy 100 shares per contract. So $100 times 100, that's $10,000 minus the premium you collect up front because they pay you that up front. That gives you the $9,881 max loss because this is your money to keep. You can do whatever you want with this because as soon as this trade is executed, it's in your account, right? Now, how do you take a max loss on this? This is what freaks people out, right? That why am I risking $10,000, $9,881 just to make 119? So this, you would realize a max loss on this if NVIDIA and let's go back to NVIDIA because I kind of want to see this, what their current valuation is. NVIDIA is almost a $3 trillion company, okay? That's with a big T, trillion. If NVIDIA in the next 34 days was to go bankrupt and the stock was to go to $0, that's when this max loss would get realized and someone could lose $10,000 like that. There's other ways to lose $10,000. This is relatively safe in my opinion. And again, None of this is financial advice. This is just for informational purposes. But that's what that max loss is. Because what you're doing is you're telling the market that if NVIDIA is at $100 or below, I will buy 100 shares at $100. And why would someone want to do this? Well, guess what? You could buy 100 shares right now at $121. And if it goes down to 100, you're down $2,100, right? because you're going to be down $21 per share times 100 shares. That's $2,100. But if I wanted to buy it at 100, just for waiting, I get paid this much. So my risk is so much lower than buying it at the current price if I'm expecting it to stay flat or go up. And if it goes down, I would happily buy those shares, right? 
that's where the magic happens when it comes to cash secured puts. And with the math that I showed you guys for this trade that I did, right? This doesn't seem like a lot of money, but when you do this over and over and over and over, and when the trades are that consistent, it really adds up. And if anyone's going to complain about making 60, 70% return with relatively safe trades that have an 80 to 85% chance of success, yeah, I, I, I don't think those kind of people belong in this world of trading and investing because those are just gamblers. And I'd rather be the casino than the gambler anytime and keep collecting this premium and wait to be able to buy stocks cheap. And this was a trade that I, of course, posted in my Patreon when I got out today. And I posted about it with my whole breakdown when I got into this trade March 4th, as you guys saw earlier, right? So if you guys want to be a part of my community, yeah, there's another NVIDIA trade that did really well, made a 20% return on it. And yeah, so if you guys want to be a part of my online community, I've made it super cheap. It's like $9 a month. It's, it's almost a no-brainer. We've got a great community chat. I post all of my trades in there whenever I get in, whenever I get out, and my reasoning behind the trades. And uh, I know one of the things that people keep asking me, oh my God, it's so cheap. Yeah, because I want more people to learn. I could do it for free. I don't really care. But the thing is, no one values free. Understood? <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I hope that doesn't sound rude. But that's, that's why I've kept my membership prices so low because I wanted to be able to teach as many people as possible with this stuff because a strategy like this can be life-changing when it's learned properly and done over a long period of time. So if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on...